I uh, started playing with the silver tones when I retired. A friend of mine, Ed Coles, retired about the same time I did. And he decided to start a, a big band, 20-piece big band. <clears throat> He'd always wanted to, always wanted his own 20-piece big band. And so he started the band. And the band is still in existence. It's been about 15 years, I guess. I played with him for about 10. And uh, I signed on as uh, a boy vocalist primarily. Played guitar too, although that's really not a big band instrument. He would go to Washington Township Park and play. We would go over there and up at Bethel Mill Park when they played there. I would go to listen to him and different jobs. We played for a lot of you know, parties and weddings and stuff like that. Concerts mostly. I was talking earlier about uh, performing with a, a band called the Sentimental Gentleman. It was just a, uh, that was a nursing home band. Ten pieces when everybody showed up. I played with them for about ten years with the Sentimental Gentleman. Uh, we had one guy, Eddie Brumall, with a superb voice. Eddie Brumall could have sung with any big band of the 40s if he had been able to count. Couldn't count. He would, he would sometimes give a whole note uh, two beats, sometimes three, sometimes five. You never knew. He could hear a song over and over. Hear a song 5,000 times and still, not... Not still not know how to sing it in time with the music. I just introduced him as the last remaining uh, member of the Broomall String Band. He was the last original. Uh, he's the family of the Yeah, he's the Broomall String, String Band. band. So. Family. He's the only original member, I think, of the Broomall String Band. This it's left. Frank Barry, the guy that does All By Myself, yeah. he was 92 when we recorded that. Yeah. And uh, he, he was just superb. Well, that's what I always liked about Frank Barry when he played with a sentimental gentleman. He could get up and he could sing to every old lady in the place. No words on a cheat sheet, uh, no music, no nothing. Just stand right up there and sing right to them. And every old lady in the place thought that he was singing right to her. He just had a knack for that. I learned that from Frank Barry because he uh, he knew he knew just how to sing to an audience. He knew just how to sing to every old lady in the place. Frank just died a couple years ago. He was still performing at age 92 with a sentimental gentleman. Did he play the piano too? Uh, played the piano, yep. Mm -hmm. He played for many years at the Courthouse Cafe up in Woodbury. A regular piano player, a singer up there. And I guess that's where he learned all his, uh, you know, his sing-along skills. And uh, then I went out on my own, started uh, entertaining in the, uh, the senior circuit. Under the, Under name. the name of Music Man. Right, the Music Man. And I started out getting the, uh, the canned backgrounds, the karaoke type backgrounds. I know. But I didn't like them. <laughs> I didn't like most of them, just that weren't. Some of them were okay and some of them weren't. But for the most part, they weren't the songs I wanted to play. So I bought myself a keyboard, one of those uh, keyboards where you can play chords with one finger and bass lines and all that stuff. Right. And I thought, boy, this is great. So I started making my own backgrounds, and they were okay, except that uh, they, they, they lacked something. And Jim Cheadle put uh, piano tracks on top of my tracks, and he also put Hammond M3 tracks He's this organ. Uh, right here, this, this Hammond M3, and, and they came out very good. They really, considering how we did them, they came out awfully good. Uh, we didn't do them in the studio. Uh, some of some of my backgrounds are the ones your dad did, or Jim Cheadle did in the studio, and uh, they complement mine uh, real well. I mean, it, all all of them are good backgrounds. Uh, mine wouldn't be all that good without all the extra stuff that Jim put on them, the Hammond tracks and the piano tracks. The Do you remember the first one we did? What was it? Blue Bill Moon? Bailey, won't you please oh, come Bill home? Bill Bailey. The first one we did was Bill Bailey, won't you please come home? He'd never heard the song before, had no music, and sat down and played the piano part uh, one time through, uh, just the way I use it all the time. Came out perfect. It's amazing. It takes, takes real talent <laughs> to do that. He's learned a whole new repertoire. He's learned a lot of songs he never heard. I've before. learned so many new songs from you. 
That's right, you have a whole new repertoire. <laughs> That's right. You, 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 you could go out on the senior circuit. Oh, they love him. Yeah, the old ladies love him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they all think I'm a cute young thing. <laughs> Do they, uh, <laughs> no, they, they like his kind of music because they're familiar with his music. They know every word to every song, and I think it uh, sparks something in them that is in their memories. And, and they tap their feet and clap their hands. Yeah, they, they really like the uh, kind of rhythm that he plays. Half of it is whether they like you, the other half is mostly whether they like your music. <clears throat> if they like you and like the music you do, then that's, that's most of it. I think they love them. I, but I, again, I've never been to one of the shows, but from what I'm told, that uh, Harry is the music man. They, they love him, they love to have him come entertain them. Well, people like it and I enjoy doing it. Yeah, I'm getting the sign that I better uh, I better quit here. Are we, can we do one more? Yeah. Okay. We'll do one from uh, the year 1929 to end with. They gotta have somebody out there doing the, the things that they know and love. And yeah, I wonder what's gonna happen to all this music after this generation goes. Well, we've got it uh, documented on three CDs, Homebrew One, Homebrews, one, two, and three, mm -hmm. plus all your your other ones. I'm already starting to get requests in some of the uh, over 55 communities for more rock and roll. So oh, really? it won't be too long before the music, that old music that I do, will be gone. I think the stuff that I play will eventually just go away because <clears throat> that'll be... It'll, it'll, I think rock and roll, 50s, 50s, mid 50s on up rock and roll will be around. Even when 80s and 90s rock and roll was not. But I think the stuff that I play, all that pre 1950s stuff, is eventually going to go away. Nobody will know it anymore. World War II? It'll all be gone. Somewhere. Glenn Miller stuff? Yep. Oh, gosh. Nobody will know anything about it. It'll be about as popular as uh, Civil War stuff is. You know? <laughs> the, the, today's, today's old folks don't even know that. The music of the year Just the way it goes. Okay, Harry, here we go. All right. Ain't she sweet, just coming down the street? I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Ain't she nice, look her over once or twice. Ask you very confidentially, ain't she nice? Just cast your eye in her direction. Oh, me, oh, Harry's a good musician and, he, and, uh, and his voice now, you know, when I listen to him sing now, he, he's, his voice is fantastic and his, and his guitar playing abilities. Confidentially, ain't she sweet? Well, five foot two, eyes of blue, oh, what those five foot can do. I can honestly say that my pub up is basically the only reason that I really got involved in music. Um, he bought me my first piano, he bought me my first guitar, he paid for all my music lessons. Uh, he got me involved, involved with music at a really early age. Now if you run into a five foot two, covered with fur, diamond rings and all them things, bet your life it isn't her, oh could she love, could she woo, could she, could she, could she go? Anybody seen my gal? Well, five foot two, eyes of blue. Oh, what those five foot can do? Anybody seen my gal? Turned up nose. Turned He's just been a huge influence, and uh, I can't really imagine that I'd be involved with music uh, if it wasn't for my pop up. Now, if you run into a five foot two covered with fur. 
Diamond rings and all them things You bet your life it isn't her Could she love, could she woo Could she, could she, could she coo Anybody see my You know what I mean by Anybody see my gal Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da